Here's four things that I do every day to keep my house under control so that I don't lose my mind. Because let's be real, it's 2020 and we're here all day. We're living that quarantine life. Every morning I start the day with loading the or unloading the dishwasher because I load it during the day and at night we run it so that way the next morning the first thing I do when I get up is uh, unload the dishwasher. This helps to keep everything under control. I'm trying to keep, teach my kids how to load the dishwasher. They don't always get it right, but that's okay. At least it makes it to the dishwasher. This keeps the uh, kitchen under control. And then after dinner, I'm not left with all of those dishes. Speaking of dinner, at by 10 a.m. every day, I plan dinner. Um, I get anything out of the freezer that I need to. I gather uh, spices and I make up marinades. I get my vegetables out and I wash and chop them. So that way when dinner time rolls around, I know that I'm ready to go. Every morning I start a load of laundry. So right after I do the dishes, I come in here and I get the washer going with the load of laundry. And then usually right after breakfast, before I get started on my actual to-do list for the day, then I know that it's ready to switch and go into the dryer. That way it's on my mind and I have this routine. And then I just kind of pull it out and fold it as I can. And we get it put away during the day. I have my kids help. Uh, we, they bring down their dirty laundry. I do pretty much a load a day. So there might be a day here or there. Now that is Monday through Friday. Typically I'm not doing a load on the weekend unless I'm got behind or there's a random load that needs to be done. So each day I pretty much have a full load between darks, whites, the baby laundry. Um, I do wash our girls along with ours, um, darks and whites. I do wash the baby separately since she's still using the baby detergent. Um, there are bed sheets, um, you know, between all of that stuff, I pretty much have a load a day. So I bring it down at night and that way it's all sitting in there, uh, ready to go for the next morning. So it's easy for me to start and I don't have to do this extra step in the morning because the morning times are always pretty busy. So I make it as easy as possible. When you get on this routine, it will be, it will relieve so much stress. I'm not even kidding you. I remember days where there would be piles and piles of laundry and it would be so stressful. Where's my jeans? Where's this shirt? Where's that shirt? I have nothing clean. So now everything pretty much stays clean. It's washed, dried and put away. I rarely have days where uh, it does not make it to the dryer. I mean, there were, used to be days where I would have, I'd wash a load like three times because I would forget to put it into the dryer. So this definitely helps me stay on track. Okay, listen carefully, because do you see this living room? This, we're, we're not even to lunch time yet, and it is a wreck. I'm hiding some of it behind me. It's a little bit too embarrassing, but here's how I take care of that, because things get left. Like, my kitchen desk is a dumping zone. Our laundry room counter, a dumping zone. This desk I'm hiding behind me, a dumping zone during the day. The living room gets destroyed usually because we're here all day. The couch cushions are off. They're turned into slides and forts and all kinds of things and there's 50 blankets out, um, but that's okay. They have fun and they're entertaining themselves and that's how we're getting by this year. But one thing that I do, which is a huge lifesaver and even my husband will tell you that he loves the 20 minute reset. So we do every night after dinner, um, usually after we're getting ready for bed or before bed, sometimes we do it in the afternoon. And it's just kind of depends on the day. It's a little bit harder in summertime because the days are so much longer and we're kind of doing outside farm stuff until late at night. But in the winter time, it's a lot easier because it gets darker and it's cold and we're inside anyways. And so it's just easier to get the kids going on this. So we do a 20 minute reset every single night. So this is not necessarily a cleaning. This is more of a picking up and putting things where it needs to go and then just resetting the house for the next Next day sometimes we don't get to absolutely everything uh, but most of the time we do especially if we do it several nights in a row and we can get the house under control so the things that we do number one I give my husband a task list because he needs some guidance right <laughs> so 
I do that same for the children also. So my husband has a list of things that he does. And so that is going around to the bathrooms and uh, collecting all of the bathroom trash and taking out the trash. If there's any random boxes of packages that were opened or the, you know, just random trash from around the house that needs to go and get out of the house. He will um, usually vacuum the basement for me because it's a lot for me to take the vacuum downstairs. That thing is heavy. So he takes that down. He will vacuum the basement um, and then he will also kind of help me. I'll say, oh, okay, this here gets accumulated and so this stack needs to go to the basement. This needs to be filed away. You know, anything random that is just piles up and you look around and you go, we, we need to take a second. That's what you're doing here during this 20 minute clean. And then my kids will, oh, he also starts the coffee for the next morning. Um, so then the kids, they have a couple places that they start. And so number one, they start in their playroom. And if we do this every single day, their playroom doesn't get totally out of control. We don't get it perfect every single night, but we get it to the point to where they can wake up in the morning and they can go in there and play. They play so much better when there's space on the floor to play. The other thing that they do is they go up to their room and they get uh, that straightened up and ready for the night. They also each have a nighttime chore. And uh, so my, my oldest daughter, she sweeps the steps. And then my youngest daughter, um, we've tried a couple different things. And um, so currently she is on, we have wide baseboards, so they collect a lot of dirt and dust from uh, just being outside on the farm. So she will actually take the duster and she will dust them. She will set up the pillows in the living room and kind of straighten up the living room. And then she starts the vacuum. We have one of those robot vacuums, the shark vacuum. And so she gets that going and then she turns on all of the lights in the house because it cleans a lot better with the lights on. So she just has little tasks like that. Um, they will also, you know, go, we will run around the house. And so what we do is we set a timer and this is like a race against the clock. How much stuff can we get done in this 20 minutes? And the girls love it. It's like a game. We turn on music. Some, a lot of the times it's Jojo Siwa. It's really fun. And uh, so the girls are like running around and um, cleaning up. They pick up the living room. They pick up everything. They start in the main areas like the playroom and their bedroom and the living room and then they do other things from there. If we don't get the laundry put away for the day, we will, uh, I will have them do that. And um, my job during that time, number one, I'm guiding. If there's things that need to be put away, I say, okay, you come here, you do this. And then also I might be folding that laundry if I didn't get to it. I'm usually finishing up cleaning up the kitchen and I am wiping down the countertops, the backsplashes and getting everything kind of reset in the kitchen and then getting that dishwasher set to run, like I mentioned. And then um, I also try to put away, try to put away all the dishes that have been hand washed on the countertop because getting up in the next morning, it's, it's, so much more amazing when there's nothing on the countertops and everything's clean and it's a great start to the day. So that is what we do. That is the big one. If we do that every night, everything is, it, it's like glorious for the next day. And the house doesn't get totally out of whack. It's always within 10 minutes of being clean. You know, if someone calls you and you're like, <laughs> you know, that 20 minute clean keeps it under control. I did forget to mention, we will sometimes do like if we are, you know, get done in here, I will send them out to the porch because there's usually, I'm looking at a bunch of stuff on the porch right there right now. And, and then the garage. And then I even add in the car sometimes because our van gets dirty. So I just add in all of those things. And that's how I keep the crazy under control. High five quarantine 2020.